and welcome to Ventura Rocks on Caps Media. My name is Pam Baumgartner. I own and operate VenturaRocks.com, which is a website listing the venues in Ventura who offer live music. And we promote those artists and musicians who live in and around Ventura, as well as those who travel here to play. We want to inspire people to support Ventura's music scene. Today, we welcome into the studio one of Ventura's most entertaining, fun, energetic punk bands. One of my favorite attributes about them is that they're not only a tight-knit family amongst themselves, but they are active within the punk and music community at large. A list of the band's influences include Black Sabbath, The Minutemen, and Henny Rollins. All right, give them a listen. I hope you enjoy the Navinax. Woo! Thank you. 
beautiful Ventura, California, one of my favorite events of the year. And we have the Navinax about to go on stage next. Shane, tell me about the Navinax. Tell me about the history. How did the band get together? Well, um, what happened was uh, I went to go see a band called All A Blur at Old Billio's, now defunct. Yeah. Empty building. Yeah. And, sad. Uh, very sad. Uh, great punk rock hangout. And uh, I met Scott Ross there while we were watching the band. And we kind of chatted it up, and a couple weeks later, we were actually at Surf Rodeo, and uh, we kind of laid down the groundwork for us to uh, to start the band. Nice. Yeah. Did you always know it was going to be a punk band, your next band that you were going to be a part of? No. Me and Scott started off with, it was me, Scott, and another fella as a drummer, and we did a lot of exploring mm -hmm. of what we wanted to do. Um, it just happened that some of the more fast or more energy driven songs seemed to feel better. Right. When we first came out, we had a song that had me whistling in it at one point. So like we had everything and we were gonna be just like this indie alt band and then slowly just, I kept writing more punk songs because we played with a lot of punk bands. Yeah. And, um, it just it just felt right. Yeah, there's a nice punk community here in Ventura in Oxnard. You know, it, it's amazing that it stayed as tight knit for as long as it has. Yeah. And I think it has a lot to do with the geography and the amount of people and the amount of people who stay mm -hmm. in town. Like in LA, you know, you had Black Flag and Minutemen and all these different bands, but they all, once they became media icons, they right. all kind of dispersed. But here in Ventura, everyone stayed. And so you have all the Nardcore bands yeah. that have been around. And now the VTA PRC bands yeah. that are kind of um, molding in with Nardcore. And, um, it's a real rad, rad vibe. Yeah, it's a nice scene. I, I thoroughly enjoy it. So what do you see for the future for the Navinex? The future is whatever happens. I mean, we're playing it by ear. Um, you know, first couple years, we were hard on, the, hard on the ground, running, played out in Vegas, tried to play as many places as we could, as often as we could. Yeah. And now what we're just trying to do is, is get good quality gigs and have a good time and, and keep it real, yeah. you know? Enjoy each other's company. Yeah and uh, keep playing. And so we'd love to go up into the San Francisco yeah. area, I'd love to get down to the San Diego area, back out to Vegas. If we can get to other parts of the country, great. And if we can get out to Europe, we'll do it. Yeah, as long as it's fun, right? As long as it's fun. Nice, all right, Shane, thanks for taking the time and have fun, Surf Rodeo. Boot up!
Oh yeah. My name is Talking Tina, and I'm gonna kill you! You're sounding great. You having fun? Absolutely. Thank you for having us. Absolutely. All right. So let me do a quick introduction to the band. Back here we have the newest member of the band, who is Aaron Esparza, and explain why he's the newest member of the band. Our drummer Mike uh, moved off to Hawaii. He took a little hiatus, and so uh, Aaron 
is in a couple bands locally and he's rad. Yeah, yeah, he is. You're sounding great. And then we have over here who is representing VenturaRocks.com t-shirt. We have Scott Ross and he is uh, rocking the guitar. Thank you so much. And Jerry Figueroa behind me on guitar as well. And we have on bass, of course, Shane Mahalka and on vocals. So the only vocals I might add. That's true. You fill up the room, I have to say. <laughs> big voice. Yeah, you do. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's talk a little bit about the scene, the music scene, because you guys are very actively involved. Tell me about what it's like to go to a Navinac show. Well, for us, it's, it's, we try to put out a uh, hard show every night. We try to give every single ounce of energy that we have, leave it on stage, because tomorrow we may not play. So, <laughs> Well, that's one way to look at it. I mean, well, that's the way I look at it. Yeah. It's fun to do it. And if there's three people in the crowd or 100, we're going to give it all. Yeah, right on. And I've seen the, the, when there is a large audience, which I've only seen when there's a large audience, they get engaged and they're dancing and going around in circles and having fun and burning off some energy. I think they call that dancing. Yeah. yeah. OK. <laughs> <laughs> all right, and explain what the Navinax actually means. The Navinax is a uh, sea slug. It's a vicious. Mm -hmm. It um, tends to eat its victims. It's a carnivorous guy. It likes other sea slugs. Who knew? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very colorful, very pretty. And uh, so we thought, since it's, it's found in the harbor here, that we would uh, kind of keep it local. Right, and I like just the name of the band, the Navinax. It's, you're not sure what it is, but now we know it's actually Sea Slug. Latin for Sea Slug, very nice, okay. So if people want to find out more about the band, they can go on social media, which you're very involved in. But what is the website? TheNavinax.com. Okay, and you actually have a CD out right now, which I did a review on VenturaRocks.com. And if they went to the show, they could get one there. Totally get one there, and they could get it uh, Places yeah. around. around town. <laughs> nice save. And on the website, because that's where it is. All right. Woo! You guys are cracking me up. You ready to do some more? If you guys are willing to have us, we will do it. Absolutely. All right. One more time. The Navinax. <laughs> of Ventura Rocks on Caps Media. Don't forget, for the most comprehensive calendar of live music in Ventura, always check VenturaRocks.com before you head out for the night. From jazz to punk and all points in between, we got you covered. Remember, there are three elements to making a music scene. The venues, the artists, and us music lovers. Together, we make Ventura rock. On behalf of Caps Media, I'm Pam Baumgartner, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>